I'm detecting below normal temperatures. Ishara is a research station, mostly focusing on Vol's geology. Let's see if someone here needs help. The ambient temperature is normal. Life support restored. The main axle's got iced up again. What's causing it? Probably an issue with the de-icing system. I'll take a look. I saw your ship land earlier. Impressive vehicle. I was about to say the same to you. Is that thing Ket? Sure is. On our last dig, the Ket destroyed our land cruiser. So I decided to repurpose one of theirs. It's only fair. You stole from the cat? You're my hero. From what I hear, you're doing a lot more than just stealing from them. Is using cat machinery common out here? Only if we stumble on it, or steal it. Mostly we stay away from their stuff, in case it's a trap. They set traps? Sometimes they rig their machines to explode and lay them out for us. I'd say they're clever, but they learned it from us. What do you do here besides jacking vehicles? I was a civil engineer on Aya. Now I'm a mechanic for the research equipment here. One minute you're designing an aqueduct, the next you're elbow deep in an ice drill. That's a big change. I wouldn't trade it for anything. It's tough out here, but every day is exciting. Besides, Aya can get on without me. Ajara Station needs me. Do you work with Remnant Tech? Not really. I can't activate it, so there's no point. Those tall structures with the lights are fascinating, though. I'd love to get inside one and tinker around. If you're interested, they're north of here. I'll get going. Stay warm. Environmental temperatures oh, are within acceptable okay. limits. Boring is better than being cute. Life support is back online. in the snow. What is this place? Ishara Station, the only research base on Vold, educated on Aya, trained by the Resistance. What's your focus out here? Glacial movement, seismology, climate, anything Aya needs from us. Resources are tight, so our scientists know a bit of everything. That way, we're prepared for anything. 
Are you in charge here? Lead researcher. Worked as a seismologist on Aya before I volunteered for Hijara. You volunteered? We all did. Aya is fine, but all that green gets boring. I can't speak for the rest, but I came here for the adventure. So far, Vold has lived up to my expectations. Always a new mountain to scale. How long has this station been around? Only a few years. This used to be Ket territory before the Resistance pushed them out. We've discovered a wealth of resources the Ket protected out here. Metals, minerals, even a new species of edible cold-weather fungus. All that was hidden under the ice? And more. We've only scratched the surface. I'll come back if I need anything. I'll be here. Well, I haven't seen many of your kind around here, but I've heard lots about the Pathfinder from my friends on Aya. All good things, I hope. So far. Do you get much business out here? I do all right. The trick is to not stay in one place too long. I travel between here and Techix. Sometimes they even make it up to the resistance camp. Isn't that dangerous with the cat all around? I've had a few close calls, but they haven't caught me yet. The stars are on my side. I'll take a look at your stock. Got plenty of supplies.
found an abandoned supply pack on the Eastern Plain. Everything good in it? Tools. Some frozen nutrient paste. Uh. Pictures of a family. <laughs> This isn't her vile. You spend too long out there in the dark, you'll get weak, sick, or worse. It's bad. I get it. How do I stay alive? The moment you see sunlight, break cover. Soak up all the rays you can. I'll be a target. Not for long. You'll get a lot from just five minutes of exposure. After that, get back undercover. The human is listening to us. You here to learn survival tips from old Percy? You sound like an expert, and I'd like to survive. What I can teach wouldn't help. Different biology. Your body can't store it, charge. Why does your kind need the sun? We draw nourishment from solar radiation, keeps us sharp, even healed minor injuries. But we have to keep out of sight, or the cat will spot us. If you go too long without sunlight, do you get sick? Lack of regular exposure puts our bodies under stress. Too much of that, and we're no use to anyone. Have to keep my strength up for the resistance. Good luck out there. I'm ready to go, Pussy. Not so fast. You still don't know how to read a weather pattern. Janleth, I'm pretty sure there's something here. They were probably affected by the Scourge. The microbe variety in the top layer is completely different. They contain traces of four different radioactive isotopes. Could be something else. Industrial emission, weapons test, someone crashing a vehicle into the sea. Or maybe, like my sister says, it's the Ice Talkers. Say Ice Talkers one more time and you're fired. The numbers check out. I, I don't know what else I can do to strengthen my argument. I... Oh, hello. You're that rider alien everyone's talking about. What can I do for you? You said something about ice talkers? What are those? Oh, that's something of a joke between me, Jarnleth, and everyone who went to school with us in Australia. One of our classmates was at an old archaeological dig and thought he heard a voice through the ice. Two months later, another group claimed they heard the same thing. An angry voice. What was it? Too much Malay. That's what Janleth says. Now it's become something of a joke between us. Ah, you're Ryder. It's an honor to meet you. What can I do for you? You were saying something about ice talkers? Huh. Don't let anyone hear you. Stupid story that started years ago when Dinor and I were students in Australia. Talk to Dinor. He knows more about how that tale spread. What are you doing with this giant block of ice? That was cut out from below Hajara. We're right above an inland sea and the ice goes deep. Very deep. Everything under the first layer was perfectly preserved from a time before the Scourge. There's a lot we can learn from the composition of the deeper layers. Microbes, ancient life forms, all untouched by the Scourge. I won't disturb your work. Only the cat showed us the same courtesy.
temperature is falling, Pathfinder. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. We can't just attack no an entire kept what base. We've been talking about. Some say we can't trust you. But if you're here to fight Cap, that's good enough for me. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Cap kill people. They take our families and we never see them again. Anyone who fights against us has to be better than them. So, will you fight them? I know the location of the labor camp where they took my uncle. What's a cat labor camp for? Different things. They put people in cages there. Sometimes they make them work. Sometimes they collect Angara, and once they have enough, they move them. And sometimes they just kill them. My father died that way. I'm so sorry. Don't be sorry. Make sure I don't lose more family. I'll get your uncle. Here's the nav point of the labor camp. Please hurry. Nilge may not have much time. The temperature is falling, Pathfinder. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Is there something I can do? Maybe. I didn't think you'd be familiar with our machines. Oh, I need to take a break before I kill someone. If you want, feel free to poke around. I'm reading a temperature decrease. So I told him I'm I reading a normal temperature the range, Pathfinder. What do you say? High powered communications say? array. Most likely for planet wide communications. Sun and sky. Makes sense. Anything on that it's interference the researcher talked about? I am detecting a signal. It is faint, but this equipment is sensitive. Pathfinder, I also observe a regular pattern in this emitted signal. It may be artificial. You don't mean... Ket? Are you saying the Ket are disrupting our comms? We must look into this.
life support. Biotics? What does it feel like? Does it hurt? When you really let loose, it's like a massive, deadly sneeze. Oh, amazing. What's a sneeze? Ryder, get constructs ahead. Targets. We haven't 
been able to take down any of their defenses. Many lives were lost trying. If there's any way we can help the Angara deal with the Ket, we're gonna do it. Making note of anything I can see from out here. Entrances, exits, possible weak spots. Got them all. We are nearing the nav point provided by Sokar Isov on Aya. Some kind of fight happened here. I detect traces of weapons fire consistent with Cat's technology. Cat. Great. <sighs> I recognize him. That's Keldor, one of Sokar's suppliers. And here's the ambush. move in the open very freely we have to we're here to explore hmm. it's only strange after years of keeping our heads down against the kit one day we'll destroy them I'm determined that it will be soon our histories say there were once flower meadows on vault colors we didn't have names for. Whatever you think of it, this is a beautiful planet. They said it was a golden world. I'm still reeling. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. 